<laughs> All right, so let's start asking you some questions, Sandra. Sure. Where were you born? I was born in Smithtown, New York, on Long Island, and that would be in Suffolk County. And when were you born? I was born in <clears throat> the summer of 75. It was June. It was a Wednesday. That would make you the sign. I was actually born with a black eye. Yeah. Really? I, I remember was, you had the darkest hair ever. And I had you a had ton like of it. Jet, a ton of blood to, uh, jet black hair. That would make you born in the sign of? I'm a Gemini. Mm-hmm. And I'm an Aries moon. I would be sun. So there you go, ladies Gemini. and gentlemen. You now know she's admitting basically she has two personalities. Good. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the lay people think. <laughs> but it means that we can be a chameleon. Oh, God. We can blend in with different types of, of situation styles, people real easily and um, enjoy it and you know people are often shocked that you like that really like i only know you as this way Mm -hmm. when i meet other gemini's i tend to get that a lot actually we have those little combos oh plenty of gemini's around us aren't there yeah Yeah. so let's see i'm um virgo is my rising Mm -hmm. and aries is my moon (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> What's so silly about that? I'm just thinking of all the Virgos and the areas we have around us. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you will come to find that there are some pretty interesting stories that we got that we are not telling at the moment, but we <laughs> are somehow hinting to, or at least I am. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you know that something is that in- <laughs> else that is interesting is um, my mom and my dad are both Libras, and both of my right. children are Libras. So That's I'm surrounded crazy. by Libras, and every time I tell a, like a psychic or a medium or tarot card reader or whatever they are, they'll go, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I don't know what that means." <laughs> I'm like, really? I'm just. <laughs> So you're a Gemini, you were born in June in Smithtown, Long Island, and when did you move to California? We moved when I was about five years old to California, and we went to the Bay Area. My dad had a job transfer. At the time, he worked for Pan American Airlines. (laughs) He he switched from JFK (laughs) to SFO. (laughs) started our life out there in California. We are a Pan Am family. Yeah. Descendants of Pan Am. We are descendants of Pan American Airlines. We Go are. Ahead. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we see, we lived in East San Jose, much to my mother's disgust. And this my father cool. had gone out ahead of time and picked out the house and just explained it to her because back then you couldn't, the cameras, pictures, there was no ability to send stuff that quickly. Right. Or get things developed. Remember when there was film developing and you had to wait two weeks to see that your pictures came out like crap? Hello, I lived at 60 Minute Photo, remember? (laughs) That was the reason I don't take pictures anymore. (laughs) So, um, our house was nice. It just was in, you know, not quite the neighborhood my mom was hoping for. And, um, So we lived there for a few years, but we would go back to New York about three times a year. And, and how often would you go back to California? Oh, I'm sorry, to New York, Kendra. About four years after we moved to California, my mom and dad decided to get divorced. And so that's when our three times a year visits stopped for my dad altogether with going. My mom kind of halted it to once a year. I re- I continued the three times a year, mm-hmm. but I would then just live there the whole summer. I would exactly. just arrive in June and leave in like September 1st. And I would just live with my cousins. And what cousins are those? I, I would go inside stay at Aunt Joni's house. Ah, and who's Aunt Joni? Aunt Joni's my favorite aunt. Your favorite aunt? Oh yeah. Of course she is. Your mother. Tony? Your mother. My mama. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then it was an Uncle Jack. Oh, yeah, Uncle Jack. Can't forget him. He would make us go to OTB with him. 
<laughs> or him. <laughs> yeah, and he'd sit in the car and we'd have to go in and papers and numbers. Get those little green pencils. <laughs> Get on the, go back to the car. Come here, I want to make sure it's right. <laughs> um, okay, so you you went back and so you basically stayed the summers in New York at our house, which basically makes you more of a cousin, your sister, in my book. Yeah, and plus we'd be there. I'd be there on some other school vacations and holidays and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. you guys would come out occasionally. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We, I mean, we did go out there. I, I, I more than the rest of them, I think, um, but or a couple times more than the rest of them. Well, you got to go out by yourself when we lived in East San Jose, <clears throat> and Lauren got to come out when we lived in Fremont. Right. We moved around a lot. Well, I moved around a lot, so <laughs> there would be houses. That's a whole other story. Entirely. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we moved from the, you know neighborhood my mom didn't care for to um san jose campbell area willow glen a much nicer area in this beautiful home her dream home she called it and then my parents split three months later so <clears throat> we weren't there very long in that house so and you we, came okay go ahead sorry and then i came to um new york the second school was over that year and then it just sort of became like a tradition, a thing that we wanted to do. And you did that every summer up until what age? 17 was the last time. Because when, you know, turn 18, you have to like get a job, go to college and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then things changed, right? Right. And then that was <clears throat> grown up time after that. <clears throat> yeah. And, um, okay, so... What did you go to college for? Um, Well, I ended up majoring in two things in uh, administration of justice and child development. My major's in child development, my minor's in AJ. And did you actually end up working in that field? I did. I did a a bunch of different jobs um, from being a director at a private school where there was a before and after care program and a summer program. Mm -hmm. I was director of that for a while. I was assistant director first, and then I was director. And I was the teacher for a while. I was a teacher aide before that. Mm -hmm. And I also taught in a private school that did, uh, it had basically a baby room from six months old all the way through second grade. It was sort of an odd numbering there Mm -hmm. and I worked in every single room available there and I was assistant director at the same time so in the morning I was a teacher and then in the afternoon I was the assistant director and then I eventually stopped teaching and became what we called um, I was a teacher trainer and so the other teachers would come to my set up classroom and it would be like modeled perfectly and I would show them how to do everything and work the different areas with kids and how there was a lot of special needs kids starting to come up. And that became the thing that I ended up focusing on Mm -hmm. and um, ended up doing a lot of extra work and training in that and eventually left that kind of working with children to working specifically with um, children with special needs and became a case manager and got into social work. Wow, that's awesome. We need more people like you. I carried a caseload of 65 kids and gave them the services that they needed for autism or speech delays or physical therapy for babies that are born and they have low tone, some, you know, feeding difficulties, preemie babies, you name it. Wow. And it was a fun job. It was, you know, exciting to see them meet these challenges and and meet these you know new types of things we would present to them because their world is so different and you'd forget that when you would see a typical child right you would be like what are they doing why is this kid so advanced (laughs) because you forget you get into and we would all look at each other at work and be like oh yeah we forget this is typical what kids do (laughs) like oh okay because we're too excited about 
our little ones who are just starting to do things, even though they may be four or five years behind, is right. there's a different level of excitement when they finally master those types of skills. That's so, awesome. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. The only reason why I stopped doing it was because I had children of my own and I had That's twins. Right. So I had to stay home. For you them. had twin boys. And they came early. Wow. <laughs> They uh, they bummed me out a little bit with that because I was all excited to have my note and I turned it in at work and it was my last week and I was packing up my desk and I was going to get like all these weeks off before they came and I was going to sit with my feet up and eat bonbons <laughs> and then yeah, I turned all that stuff in and I started to pack up my desk a little bit. I went home that Monday and they were born that Monday night. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So I was like, oh no. Was it scary knowing you were giving birth to twins? Um, no, not to twins so much as it was just because they were early. They came at 30 weeks. And working in that field, you know exactly what can come with all of that. Like right. you, you know exactly. So, um, <clears throat> and then it was hard because I was the one you know, in labor and all of that and going through all this medical stuff and they're jabbing you with all these things and they're trying to stop it. And my mother's there and <clears throat> the boy's father's there and I'm having to explain to them because I know what the doctors and nurses are saying and what the words mean and where we're going and like, <clears throat> and they didn't. And yet I'm right. like, I, I can't, I can't play all these parts right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I wasn't there and I wish I was. I was not there. Oh, you would have loved seeing my mother. Oh, <laughs> she was a riot. She was a riot. The fact that this was the, the absolute best part. So grandparents were, this was way before COVID. Um, <laughs> this was 14 years ago. This was, you could put I know the names of the grandparents down on the list and then they could enter the NICU whenever they wanted because there's a big screening process to get in the doors of the NICU. <clears throat> right. So you, if you had the grandparents down, that was allowed. So the gal next to me, um, her and I became friends and she had a one pound baby over there. And she, her mother was in there with her a lot in the beginning. And so when the boys were born, they were born at 11.54 at night. <clears throat> she happened to be in there because her daughter was um, in there with the baby. And they were getting ready to leave, but they were held back because of my delivery. And they weren't allowed to walk out. Right. And so <clears throat> they saw them come in and everything. And so then they stayed and they were watching because it's very exciting at first when babies are born. Um, because the doctors come running in the NICU and we all have to stay seated and then they work on the child and um, so there was two of them and they're like oh my gosh and then of course Christopher was being difficult and he wasn't breathing and so <clears throat> they were all into it and it was a day and a half later my mom happens to get in the elevator with them and She's just telling any person she sees who's near her, oh, I'm a nanny. I have two grandsons. And she's just telling whatever she can tell to whomever she can tell. Yeah. And so she proceeds to tell these gals and they're smiling and they're nodding and they go, yes, we know we've seen them. And really? my mom goes, excuse me, what? <laughs> she goes, well, we were in the room with them. She goes, excuse me, what? You've been in the room with my grandsons? I haven't been in the rooms with my grandsons. How the hell did you get in the room with my grandsons? <laughs> <laughs> and so then my mom comes into me and she starts walking into my room, yelling at me, how can these people have seen my babies before me? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, but the looks that she was making, she was just like, oh my God, what? <laughs> and then she actually got kicked out for being too loud. Are you serious? I kicked her out? Yeah, they feel they had to come up to her like three times and say, you know, and they kept calling her by my last name, <laughs> which was funny because she hasn't been that last name in a oh, very God. long time. And so <laughs> I'm like, who are they talking to? <laughs> like, you don't, and why are you answering? 
That's and they're like, Shh, you're loud. She's like, I'm not being loud. Am I being loud? Oh my God. <laughs> yes, you are. Just hush. <laughs> what is your favorite color, Kendra? <laughs> Purple and green. When I was young, my favorite color was green first. And then when I was about nine or so, it changed to purple and it's been purple ever since. Uh, what is your favorite music? Um, probably rock and, you know, pop, but uh, 80s classic rock, they call it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call it that. <laughs> yeah, um, but all the, the 80s and the 90s. <clears throat> And what was your favorite band growing up? My Bon Jovi. And what was your favorite movie? My favorite movie of, uh, well, do I get three answers like you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so when I was little and I would watch movies with my cousins, <laughs> we had a thing about the movie <laughs> Grease 2. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, Greece and Greece too. We knew all of the words, all of the songs, and we did the dances. We thought we were so cool. I want to see. Oh, 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 definitely my favorite movie then in the 90s right and but i liked point break an awful lot that's been on a lot lately actually <laughs> has it yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know what it is about that one i just have this weird thing with that movie that's crazy <clears throat> and or keanu reeves oh we love both of them but um i call him canoey 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 <laughs> <laughs> canoey so cool <laughs> Um, <clears throat> then I like his uh, uh, movies now. The um, Matrix, John thing. Wick. No, I wasn't oh, John a Wick. Matrix person, believe it or not. But John Wick, I like John Wick. Yeah, I like a lot of a lot of his different stuff he's done. Actually, the stuff that he would do with Sandra Bullock, I liked. All oh, right. Mm-hmm. The one where they're at the lake and they put the letter in the mailbox and mm -hmm. it changes time. Like, oh my gosh, that one, I get anxiety, but I have to watch it every time. Was that called The Lake House or is that? Yeah, I think or... so. I think so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I like Sandra Bullock movies. She's cute and quaint, but I mean, like I like, yeah. all the hope, I like the hope floats. I like all the, I do like some cheesy, not too cheesy, but like, I do like a lot of, you know, those. And you know, I love her romance. in um, Nicole Kidman when they were the witches. Oh, yeah. Practical magic. Yeah. Yes. For my grown up time, Saving Private Ryan, Pearl Harbor, and Schindler's List were. Schindler's like, List was just recently on. <clears throat> those are like major. Like just poignant movies, even though they're very dramatically different mm -hmm. and differently done, and all of that. <clears throat> There's just something that kind of gets me about those ones. And then Schindler's List explains itself. With I, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, had since I was a young child a big fascination with the Holocaust and Jewish life in that time and everything that happened there. And I mean, what kid wants to study history, learn about that stuff? Like, pfft. but no, that was me. I did. I was in third grade doing the little book reports with it and stuff. <laughs> and I remember watching the movie of the week at my dad's house. And my stepmom is part Jewish and part Italian. And so they had different Jewish things. And I was fascinated. And then I have stuff in my house now because I've done DNA and I found out I do have some Jewish in me. But is that from your father's side? Yeah, my dad's okay. side has it. But okay. I don't know if there is yeah. on the other side, on our side, but I didn't see any of that on ours, but you got the DNA on ours anyway. I still need my mom to spit in the cup. She says she claims she can't spit. Who <laughs> <I> can't spit? <laughs> <laughs> But she says she wasn't not built a to do that. She's not that type of person, you know. She's got those nails. She's prim and proper. Like 
she's prissy. I know. Did I and leave that in? <laughs> we, all, we all look, look. She's like, I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> she's prissy and dramatic. That's the aunt, Kendra's mom, prissy and dramatic. That was a good imitation of her, by the way. I can't do that. Oh, yeah, I can imitate her very well. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kendra, since you love animals, <laughs> what are your favorite animals? And ba- Well, basically, let's just say, how many animals do you currently? I do like current. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> okay, so two, four, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12. She's at 12. 13, people. 14. She's at 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. <clears throat> she has 24 animals, people. <laughs> 24 in her household at this very moment. <laughs> 24. Can you let us all know what those animals are? Okay, so there's two tortoises they are eastern herman tortoises those would be um, mediterranean or italian tortoises Mm -hmm. they live out in their home in the garage Mm -hmm. and they have a light that comes on every day for them out there and we have them lifted up so but they're more of that our eye level so we can interact with them Mm -hmm. and they're about five inches and they're full grown Mm -hmm. we've got two of them they're both boys that would be Boots and Tortellini. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. about five feet from them in the garage, we have a little pond and it's 120 gallons. And we've got two turtles in there. Mm-hmm. We have Camo and Pistache, short for pistachio. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> one's a cooter and one from Florida. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and, um, the other one is a Cumberland slider. And then upstairs we have the almost said bearded dragon. We don't have one of those yet. Um, but for some reason I saw it the other day, so it was what I was picturing. We have a leopard gecko. Okay. And um, she, her name is Lizzie. Okay. And she's pretty cool. She's got a purple tail with black spots and yellow stripes. And she's sweet. She doesn't bite or anything. She eats her little wormies. Um, But she does hate the camera. We don't know why. (laughs) Um, Then there's, um, in a long glass cage in that same room, there's a Syrian hamster. That's Citrine. She's a sweetie. She's a cuddler. Named after the crystal, Citrine? Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's the bigger of the hamsters. Syrians are bigger. Then we have in the same room um our personal pet campbell dwarf hamsters there's four we have ruby and jasper those are the boys and then we have opal and rubelite all named after crystals right okay and ruby and rubelite have red eyes oh and they're all all of those are they're all related they're all offsprings and different degrees of relation to each other actually and then, <clears throat> so they're then they're in they're all in separate cages. Though the two Opal and is the girls are together, but Citrine's in her own because she's a different breed, and you can't mix those. Then there's the rabbits. <laughs> there's and <laughs> they have their house in there as well. There's a Holland Lop and a Netherland Dwarf, and it's Jelly Bean and Reese's, a boy <laughs> and a girl, and they are fixed, so we won't be having baby bunnies. Okay. And then downstairs again, we have in the family room right now, all the rest that <laughs> in hamster babies. <laughs> Not the hamsters babies. we've had to keep, hamsters we're still selling. So we are, we sell hamsters. We are a hamstery here. <laughs> and we started it intentionally for fun. The boys wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. Okay, great. And then there was some accidental I only put them down for a second and then I played a video game and I forgot and Mm -hmm. yeah you put them down in the wrong cage and I didn't realize and two days later now there's a boy and a girl together and here we go with the babies again (laughs) and then the babies we missexed a couple and Uh 
they come running, the boys come running in my room one night. There's babies in the boys cage. Like, well, I'm asleep. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What can't, no, no more babies. Then they, they got the iPad in my face. Look, look, look. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, no. Because they have like eight babies every time. So wow. um, we've had our last batch of babies and they're still little teeny things with mama right now. And um, yeah. Didn't you say she was double pregnant? Yeah, because she got pregnant and then had the babies and <clears throat> then was in a cage by herself at this point. And all of a sudden there was more babies a month later. Huh. And <clears throat> so they can get pregnant back to back, but only one set or one litter at a time will happen and the other ones they just sort of can hold them back from growing it's kind of odd and then they'll have them afterwards so sometimes that first litter isn't quite right it's a little funky or they abandon it early because they know they have another one they've got to be dealing with coming up right so they need to make room get it out of there <clears throat> cool so yeah it's interesting like, that happened to us twice and once was because the day one gave birth, she escaped out onto the floor and we saw the boy running up after her and he jumped right on her and I grabbed him off, but not fast enough because really? 30 days later she had the wow. again. Oh yeah, my hamsters goodness. are that fast. That's They're crazy. That, that fast. Versus like the reptiles. Oh my gosh. When they're egg, all of them, they lay eggs and then you got to take care of this so they don't get egg bound and ugh, the reptiles are a whole different thing but we have you're a boy and a girl turtle together animal. and they've never had a problem because they're not the same species so they can't mate right but wow. they do dominate boy girl and like those types of things happen but they don't mate and if they did for some reason nothing would happen nothing could come of it mm. so I was like thank god <laughs> that's a lot of animals you're taking care of <laughs> yeah everybody has different food and feeding time and their vitamins and then of course their lights and it was just changing you know fall back so I had to go and change all these timers on everybody's cages and you know <clears throat> some of the reptiles go with the sun and some don't and then we actually want <laughs> one more <laughs> like we, we previously had dogs Right. And um, we had one for 16 years and the other one for like 12 years and they passed. And so we're just in that in between phase of not ready for dogs again yet. Right. But we, we will because we're dog people. I've always had dogs and my sons are dying for a dog. But we got a lot going on at, at the moment. So people were like we had fish here for a while. We had 17 fish tanks. You had what? 17 fish tanks. You had 17 fish tanks? Yeah. Well, the, you know, the Siamese fighting fish, the betas. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So you have to have them all in their own tank. They all can't be together. And then I had a tank of girls because you can't put girls together, but you have to put a lot. And then we had our cichlid tank and we had an eel and we had a goldfish tank. And then we had big fancy <laughs> goldfish tank and like none of these can mix. Kendra, when you get animals, you just you don't just get one. You you get like a slew of them. A right. Of them. Oh yeah, totally. And so like we had them for <laughs> years, and then as they would die, or we just like sort of fine tuned what ones we really liked and we wanted. It ended up being like the cichlids and the big fancy goldfish, the two most messiest fish there are. Right. And when we went, we had, we went to New York. Um, the tanks did not make it while we were gone. Oh. And I came back and they all were all very like diseased. Oh. <clears throat> and so it was like no coming back from that. And I had, you know, brought everything down to just a, a few. And um, we also had like a little shrimp tank with the, that I grow the plants in that one. And so that would ended up being the last one we had for like a long time. Because, but then they all, yeah, went. And so, but I was selling them back to the pet store for supplies. So it was like, I was just giving them the babies 
that we were making and for food and vitamins and whatever. So it worked out for a while. It was fun. Wow. But yeah, when I do do that, when I get into it, I'm like, I can't just like have one, like a Skittle. Like, no, I need <laughs> like a, a whole... Skittle. <laughs> like, I need a, a, I need a bunch of them and I need all their supplies. Like, I have no money right now, but my bunnies need a teepee. <laughs> you know, like they have a slide, they have a tent, they right. have a tunnel, they need a teepee. Come on. So... I know you like show me all these pictures on Kendra. These animals have taken over your house. You got like blockades and and like these, these build tunnels running right for them the... and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, we like to test out all the stuff there is, and then we move along. We want a chameleon. I love chameleon. That's the one thing we do kind of want to get, and we probably will at some point. Well, when you come to Florida, <clears throat> if you ever come to Florida, if I can get you here, we're going to have to take you to get swamped because Robbie has all types of reptiles and all kinds <sighs> of animals. He's got birds, turtles, alligators, crocs, um, snakes, lizards, um, you name it. Lemurs, yeah. lemurs galore. <laughs> I love lemurs. I want a lemur. All right, everyone. We have given you a brief insight into our lives within the past two episodes, part one and part two. Sounds good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also click that notification bell. That way, when we upload new videos, you'll be the first to find out. And you can come watch and check us out. So have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Say goodbye, Kendra. Goodbye, Kendra. <laughs> Bye-bye.